Russia is enhancing the S-400 Triumph air defense system, using battlefield lessons from Ukraine, with sharper focus on drones, cruise missiles and electronic warfare threats. These upgrades will be integrated into the remaining S-400 regiments bound for India. Improved anti-jamming radars, better networking, enhanced mobility, and expanded missile options promise higher survivability and lethality. For India, the combat-refined S-400 upgrades could significantly strengthen its layered air defense against evolving aerial threats. DRDO has issued an RFI to develop a fully indigenous marine-grade air conditioning compressor for Indian Navy and Coast Guard ships under its Technology Development Fund. Designed to endure extreme heat, humidity, and corrosion, the compressor will protect critical sensors and combat electronics from overheating. With capacities up to 300 tons of refrigeration and a 30,000-hour lifespan, the project aims to eliminate import dependence, secure supply chains, and strengthen India's naval self-reliance against sanctions and disruptions. DRDO has quietly issued a fresh expression of interest to induct private companies for transfer of technology of the Helena anti-tank missile system, signaling a major production ramp-up. Even as BDL begins serial manufacturing, the Army's demand for over 5,000 missiles has triggered the need for multiple independent lines. With each partner expected to produce up to 800 missiles annually, Helena is now treated as a Category 1 strategic weapon amid rising border threats. The Indian Air Force is accelerating procurement of MBDA's Meteor missile to secure long-range air superiority across Tejas MK-1A, Super Sukhoi, and upcoming Tejas MK-2 fleets. With integration cleared on indigenous AESA radars, Meteor will replace legacy weapons and anchor future upgrades. Facing surging demand, the IAF is advancing contracts and tapping surplus stocks as MBDA doubles production ensuring uninterrupted beyond-visual-range combat dominance through the next decade. The Indian Army is set to boost its counter-drone defenses with Suksham, a fully indigenous command and control system developed with BEL. Operating on the secure Army data network, it delivers a real-time recognized UAS picture across the tactical battlefield space. By fusing multi-sensor inputs and using AI-driven threat analysis, Suksham enables rapid detection and neutralization of hostile drones, forming the backbone of India's future counter-UAS grid. As Bangladesh moves closer to acquiring up to 16 Eurofighter Typhoon jets, under its Forces Goal 2030 modernization plan, defense analysts argue, that such a fleet would struggle to deter a strategic weapon, like India's Agni-5 ballistic missile. With a range exceeding 5,000 kilometers and hypersonic re-entry speeds, the Agni-5 is designed to strike deep targets, air bases, command centers and infrastructure, far beyond the tactical scope of fighter jets. Experts say that regardless of numbers, fighters cannot intercept or neutralize a ballistic missile strike. In this context, the Agni-5 strategic deterrent reach could overshadow Bangladesh's planned Eurofighter upgrade. A parliamentary panel has sharply criticized HAL for costly delays in securing international civil aviation certifications for its helicopters, causing losses exceeding rupees 108 crore and derailed exports. The report highlights poor early engagement with global regulators, especially European Union Aviation Safety Agency, and a decade-long certification struggle that dented India's credibility. Lawmakers have urged immediate bilateral agreements and mandated that global certification norms be built into aircraft design, warning that delays are undermining India's aerospace export potential. India's private defense sector hit a propulsion milestone, as Vayuvia Defense, showcased its indigenous TRJM-1 micro-turbojet engine in Bengaluru. Delivering 4 kN thrust in a compact, modular design, the engine enables rapid repairs, low logistics burden, and versatile deployment across UAVs and loitering munitions. With an upgraded 5 kN variant in development, the breakthrough strengthens India's push for self-reliance, 
in critical aerospace technologies. India's SpotX mission has opened a new frontier in India-Japan space cooperation. Impressed by ISRO's autonomous robotic arm demonstration in orbit, JAXA has begun formal talks on joint development of space-qualified manipulators. With lightweight design, high payload capacity and advanced onboard intelligence, India now joins an elite global club in space robotics. The proposed collaboration could power future lunar missions, orbital servicing, and deep space exploration. Fresh off the MQ-9B Sea Guardian contract, General Atomics is now eyeing India's next unmanned leap, the IAF's Collaborative Combat Aircraft Program. The company is pitching the gambit to a stealthy, armed loyal wingman drone built for air combat, not just surveillance, capable of carrying air-to-air -air missiles and flying alongside Tejas MK-2, Rafale, or future AMCA fighters, Gambit-2 promises affordable mass with high-end capability. With deep make in India commitments and shared infrastructure with MQ-9B, General Atomics is positioning Gambit as India's gateway into the global autonomous combat aircraft race. From a tentative 20 aircraft order in 2006 to a massive 220 jet fleet by 2025, the Tejas Light Combat Aircraft has emerged as one of India's most significant defense success stories. Successive contracts, now valued at nearly rupees 1.19 lakh crore, have transformed Tejas from a developmental gamble into the Indian Air Force's light fighter backbone. The latest 97 jet MK-1A deal secures production into the 2030s, accelerates MiG-21 retirement, and deepens Indianization with the UTOM AESA radar. With Tejas MK-2 and AMCA on the horizon, this indigenous program has firmly reshaped India's fighter aviation future. That's all for now. Hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.